we don't know yet what methods were actually used and what cases the, these these memos were applying to. But you know, even Bill Clinton has said that in certain cases cases where there is a ticking time bomb, and you want you want to be able to get the information. You have the president sign a kind of pardon in advance. His wife agreed with him on that that torture shouldn't be the stated policy of the United States, but the president does what he has to do. I want to move to another subject, and this involves a, a comment that a guest on Meet the Press made, and I want to read it as follows. Imagine the following scenario. We get lucky. We get the number three guy in Al-Qaeda. We know there's a big bomb going off in America in three days, and we know this guy knows where it is. Don't we have the right and responsibility to beat it out of him? You could set up a law where the president could make a finding or could guarantee a pardon. Should there be a presidential exception to allow torture in that kind of situation? As a matter of policy, it cannot be American policy, period. I met with those same uh, three and four star retired generals and their principal point in addition to the values uh, that are so important for our country to exhibit is that there is very little evidence that it works. Now, there are a lot of other things that we need to be doing that I wish we were. Better intelligence, making our, you know, our country better respected around the world, working to have more allies. Uh, but these hypotheticals are very dangerous because they open a great big hole in what should be uh, an attitude that our country and our president takes toward the appropriate treatment uh, of everyone. And I think it's dangerous to go down this path. The guest who laid out this scenario for me with that uh, proposed solution was William Jefferson Clinton last year. I, well, like so he try. disagrees with you. Well, he's not standing here right now. It doesn't seem as if she's for the exception that you were outlining. She was great, though. You know, I, I went back and read the whole transcript. And there's a general point, I think she's right. That is, I think America's policy should be to oppose torture, to honor the Geneva Conventions. And uh, I'm not even sure what I said is right now. Yeah, I don't think you should now. The more I think about it, uh, and the more I have seen that if you have any kind of little formal exception, people just drive a truck through it. Hillary's probably right about this. You know, even Bill Clinton has said that in certain case, in cases where there is a ticking time bomb and you want, you want to be able to get the information, you have the president sign a kind of pardon in advance. His wife agreed with him on that, that torture shouldn't be the stated policy of the United States, but the president does what he has to do.